boy. Shit. <clears throat> ah, well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Great. Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. <laughs> And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy son. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Yeah. Hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. If they see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, you had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. Bear left here, towards Rhodes. So... Where was I? That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Because I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner seat. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. Yeah. So, we block the tracks with the wagon, then jump them. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody... Yeah. 
Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire. Ha! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. That's do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. That quick and join us on there. Go hey, on, get on there. It's faster. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Ah! Everybody, stay calm. Oh, and sure. ah. get shot. Oh, go. Me. Everything you got, money, valuables. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. Please, stop. Just put the gun down. I beg of you. I ain't got nothing. You want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Please, please. Don't What's the problem here? Honey, oh. hey, I am there. Don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay, please. okay. In the bag, God everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. I want to count to three. God damn it. Oh, God. Sick is better than dead, lady. I'm thank you. my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be Ladies over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. Look, guy, huh? No. You go sure, ahead and look for the baggage car. You show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around Come here. on. Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Oh, I'll get you. Don't make me hurt. Money, nah! Shit, bitch. Come on, cough it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I'm not a bad man. Just put the gun down. Let me beg you. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay! None of you folks move a muscle! What is it? You alright? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. <laughs> Last chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. We'll take that. Oh, I gotta have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Mosh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. Folks are rich, all right. Come on, we should get out of here. Huh? 
some decent stuff. We're looking good in here. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Marsh, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn livers. Eh? There's a few more to turn enough. Man, uh, my big mouth. Okay. Let's deal with them. Last chance. No! Oh, shit! Fun boys, real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut up. <laughs> At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this lot was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah.
okay there. Twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? I ain't for hire, lady. Find someone else. <laughs> yeah. How's your scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about or you got any leaks? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting. That might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. If we try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkertons here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me. Yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Uh, I already don't like how this is going. You done enough harm here.
Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. Sure. Let's go. Hey! Why couldn't you have done that? Ugh. Done what? Bought that gun. Ah, I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name? Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. up there. Get a proper view. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collecting on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. I think that's them over there. So what now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. <laughs> Go on, give them a warning shot. Something close enough to make them cut and run.
round him up. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here or there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. Keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Sucker! Those are up, boys. 
There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> a lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Yeah, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Eighteen percent. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, never really was. Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. It's all right, boy. In the air. I don't believe in absolutes. Just shades That's of you, rain. sir. Compromise us. Compromise it. Well, I have never been a man for compromising. I fear at my age I am too old to change. Gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderland! Get out here! What the now. hell? Vandalin! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning a yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Why not? You rob from me, Vandalin. You're done. Now get out here now. Deal with this nonsense, please, gentlemen. This is a terrible mistake. This is a case. Your mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, nor do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn. Never he.
bushwhacking partner shoot someone! I'm trying! Nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Yep. <laughs> 
horse out of here. All right, don't get all worked up. Yeah. So, we keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? So, we moving? Yeah. We stop when we find some place sensible, shake them that's following us, and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Now, where have I heard that before? Okay, boy. Let's go. So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made at Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Ah, uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah, area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. Careful! So where does it end? Where does what end? The movement, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. I call it what you want. I don't know. Uh, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried-up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Let's be careful, Arthur. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. You started it. See there? Ten. And a wagon. Looks deserted. Okay, well, let's have a look around and make sure.
Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. I'm being careful. Someone's been here. Sure. Someone's still here. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about that. Okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? M men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you. Wait a second. Just want to look closer here. down this way so what happened with those Pinkertons anyway when you were fishing with Jack said they were on to us offered me freedom if I turned Dutch in. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there we should have moved right then if you ask me <laughs> wait just let me make sure this is right look they go along the shore there I see him so like you were saying before, bastards told me they'd kill Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, uh, that kid, it's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. Ugh. to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, 
He reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. <laughs> if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. You hear him? He did? And we was... Family, you know? Think this is the right way? Give me a second. Ah, uh, they continue on that trail ahead of us. Good eyes, Arthur. Let's keep on them. So you were saying... I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. this guy I don't know but you know something this is a better camp spot than back there much easier to defend maybe this looks like our feather Charles quick cut him free and let's get out of here Got your knife there? left behind for us. Here, Truven! It's okay. Getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Talk. Go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Take you back to your family. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also soll ich mitkommen? Ja. Bringen Sie mich hin. What the hell did you do to those fellas? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu... Meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Was 
wollten Sie sagen? Uh, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yeah. Dem Herrgott sei Dank! Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wär's so gewesen! Meine Lieblinge! Meine Herz allerliebst! Oh, wie wunderbar! Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann! Ja! Ein großer Mann! Ja, wirklich! Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben! Come on, now get out of here! This place ain't safe! Get out of here! Ja, ja, Ramos. das ist wahr! Ramos! Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, ähm. Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> Fine. It's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way now of course there's gonna be casualties we're thieves in a world that don't want us no more we are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts now i'll give you that but come on we got the day it's nice out old jose says that there's a trick around here i reckon it's full of fit Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long over, Dutch. 
Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Jose. All right, gentlemen, let me show you how it's done. Ah, sorry, boy. Just fish here. There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. A curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching. But I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but... No buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Whoa. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scott? Partly. The best part. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur. Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. I'm slipping. Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on! What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please! My neck is on the line here. I can get it. I'm doing my best. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No! Did I not say that? You said plenty. Come on! The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now 
Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Yeah. Closer! Get us alongside it! Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Now he's throwing bottles. The low-down bastard. bastard. I didn't do nothing. Uh, uh, law, Phil? I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy? It sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. What now? Well, take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir, I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said just got down here another big family in these parts they have an estate west of here awful people truly awful they've been fighting with the grays for as long as i can remember sounds like quite the place you got here we're gonna bear left here
Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Now, Bo? These better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out rebel gold, marrying cousins, or not marrying Arthur. That's Jose, you start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these great weights. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kinda like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Still having nightmares about, you know, that youngin' dad a few years back. Come on. Yep. All right, gentlemen, follow me. So how far is this creek? A bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. 
Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Baloney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawney's. What a terrible thought. Damn, he crashes and kill him. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Coming through. Go on! Easy. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. Yeah, that's it, boy. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? <coughs> oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Uh. Oh, let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. Enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Keep going. Here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something. And big like a sturgeon. Strong with good old worm. Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. A 
Got a bite. Got one. You hooked him. Shit. Got away. Something's nibbling. There we go. Ah, I should have had that one. They're nibbling. Got them. That feels like a bite. You're getting the hang of this. Ha! Got ya! Got one. Not bad. Yeah, that's a keeper. Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, huh, this again? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Now, reel them in, Arthur. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We'd go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed the lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. It's still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. <laughs> hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Follow it. Told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at fifteen and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh.
Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I wish to God I'd passed her by. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Taters got burnt and so did I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three. Mariner. Ah, of course. Well, we need three poor mariners to leak up from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round around around? Shall we go dance this round around around? Peter is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round around around. men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round, around, around, to them we dance this round, around, around, and he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground, the ground, the ground. Well, you know, we should not let the folks back think we have too much fun. Indeed not. I mean, we are going to be okay. I know. Well, I always know whenever I got you two by my side, things are going to be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. I'll give these fish to Pearson. I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. 
You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down, or you're gonna be missing a head. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. So he did. Bang, bang, bang! My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! Enough, both of you! Well, come with me, then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. If you need anything, Mr. Pearson, maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. Yeah. You cool down then yet? I guess. I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Well, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alien. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Hey, watch it! Yeah.
Okay. Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! You insane? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. How's your life? Bye now. Not careful there. out bright blue. I'm trying. Try harder. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll... Have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well... My house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you... Uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm-hmm. Just don't... Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool, You Sadie. need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey! How's about this? No. Go, go, go! Shit! Get the hell out of here! Go! Join. 
here why because you've caused enough trouble already i'm fine yep we show those bastards huh remind me not to get on your bad side and they was clearly planning to bushwhack us you did good but that's a lot of mess to make near camp hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around are you gonna tell dutch maybe if he asks but maybe not. Careful now. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Braiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbon piercing about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post. Anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind falls. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> <sighs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up.